Welcome to the continuation of our lesson on epidemiological transition theory. I'm Austin Lee from the biology and culture class of Mississippi State University. And today we're going to be talking about the three specific epidemiological transitions posited by Omron. So Omron's three transitions are all taking place post the Paleolithic baseline. The Paleolithic baseline being the time period in which humans were mostly hunter-gatherers and were living in small bands. So post the Paleolithic baseline is agriculturalism. And agriculture is one of the major characteristics of each transition. And it allows for high population density, which is also a major characteristic of each transition. The first transition is the age of pestilence and famine. The second is the age of receding pandemics. And the third is the age of degenerative and man-made diseases. Our first transition, the age of pestilence and famine, has characteristics of high mortality and fertility, large populations and agricultural diet, as we've previously discussed, with infections such as the Black Death and tuberculosis taking place all during this period, with a lot of high nutritional deficiencies and high stratifications of society going along with these deficiencies. So you can think of this time period going all the way back to the Antonine Plagues of the Roman era to even pre that, mostly all the way up to the Industrial Era. That's when this transition occurred and it's one of the longest running transitions. The second transition, the age of receding pandemics, is early modern to 20th century. This is the period of time in which medicine and medicinal advancements were just kind of rushing forward. And the characteristics of this one were low mortality, fluctuation from high to low fertility rates, varied diet with common overnutrition. You can look at the standard American diet or otherwise known as the SAD diet for an example of the overnutrition. The discovery and production of vaccines, medicines, and improved hygiene changing the rates in which people get infected and get taken care of. But this transition has something different from the last, which is non-communicable diseases, degenerative diseases, and a lot of sexually transmitted infections. These are the things that you can't necessarily get rid of with medicine. There are part of the stratification of society. The third is the age of degenerative and man-made diseases. The rapid spread of novel viruses and infections are what characterize this transition, along with high-income countries having delays in chronic onset age and antibiotic-resistant diseases that are present in this uh, diseases that are present in the second transition and man-made diseases such as car wrecks, violence, etc. Check out more anthropological subjects on our channel's page, The Bioculture Shock, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.